Hi! In this tutorial, we will turn a mid-journey image into a 3D animated video. We are using multiple tools to reach our goal, starting with mid-journey to create our image. After that, we are using Photoshop to prepare our image for 3D, and we are using Blender to create camera 3D projection and animation. In the last step, we're going to use After Effects for compositing. I'm in my Discord and using Midjourney to create images. You have to download Discord first and then join the Midjourney server. If you don't know how to do that, just YouTube or Google it. I think the tutorial lasts only two to maximum five minutes. So it should be very easy for you. Midjourney is free for the start. And once you created a certain amount of images, you have to pay for a monthly subscription. To create image with Midjourney, you just have to be in the chat uh, with Midjourney and write hashtag imagine and then click on prompt. In the prompt field, simply write the description of the image you had in your mind. And in my case, I already have one. A flying car in Blade Runner 1982 style with matte exterior floating over ground, foggy weather, calm grasslands in the background. I already have it, so I can just copy it, you know, paste it, or you can also write something on your own, right? Uh, and when you are finished with the description of your image, you just hit enter and let Midjourney do the work. For following along the tutorial, you can use the sentence that I'm using now, uh, but you can also use your own prompt. Midjourney always produces four images. If you like one of the images, you can upscale them by hitting U1, U2, U3, or U4. And when I like the second one, I just hit U2 to upscale the second image. Click on the image to see the full resolution or maybe go into open in browser. And then, yeah, you can see uh, the full image in a high resolution. If you like one of the images, but you want to create more varieties of it, let's say I like this image and I don't want to upscale it. I want to create more varieties of this kind of style. Um, and since it's the force image, I just click on V4. So there you have it, the four varieties of the image before. This is the image I like the most. The reason is not only based by aesthetic decision, but also by whether it's easy to rebuild uh, in 3D. A matte exterior, for example, is easier than a glossy material because when the spaceship is moving, the glossy part will move too and you have to recreate that in 3D. To extend the image in the vertical direction because our video format is a TikTok um, or a YouTube uh, story or YouTube short format, you can just click uh, the arrow up uh, button to extend the image up. Uh, and also click the arrow down button to extend the image downwards. There's a link in the description and you can download the same image if you want to work with the image that I have. I don't know how long Midjourney will keep the image on the server, but like if the link doesn't work, don't, don't judge me. To turn this image into a video, we have to split the image into layers like for mid and background to create a parallax effect, which will then add depth to our video. This trick was already used in the 30s and 40s by Disney, which was called the multiplane camera effect. In that time, the team of Disney created oil painting on glass layer, which then can be animated. The glass layers would glide at different speed and distances from each other to achieve depth and parallax. Just keep note that everything what we do in the computer are not unrelated to historical film tricks in the past. If you want to know more about the parallax effect and its history, I'll keep a link in the description below. 
Back to our project, I'm in Photoshop with the newest beta version. It features AI generated phone, which in my point of view would change our way to work with Photoshop forever. What we're gonna do next is to separate uh, the image into three different layers, mid-ground, background, and the spaceship. First, uh, we're going to replace uh, the spaceship by marking with lasso really roughly and go into the new generative tab tool and just click on generate. You don't have to do anything more. Photoshop now is trying to recreate something and obviously understood that it wanted to have this object replaced. And on the right, you have three different options. And yeah, I think the left one is the best one. In the next step, I want to isolate uh, the spaceship and you can click on the object selection tool. And you have to go to the right layer and it's selected for you. Mask it out. And there you have the isolated spaceship with an empty background. And yeah, now what we can do is to separate uh, the background, the, the mid-ground from the background, right? So duplicate again, hide it, uh, click on again, object selection tool, select it, correct the artifacts with the lasso tool. It is a mask, can go in there again with the brush and correct anything which uh, it's not correct, because sometimes the object selection tool doesn't select everything you want to have. Now, the spaceship is isolated, mid-ground 2. Last but not least, you can fine-tune the background a little bit with the generative AI tool, so that the background doesn't repeat something which is already in the mid-ground. Cool. So that's our background mid-ground and spaceship. They are all separated and now we can integrate it into 3D. So that is the first part of the series. Join me in the second part where I will take everything into 3D and give our image some animation and life. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe for more content in the future.